Hello everyone, today I'm going to present image sequence analysis via gated recurrent units and attention for trichomatous trachiasis classification. My name is Juan Carlos Prieto and my collaborators are Hina Shah, Casey Jones, Robert Chu, Hashiya Kana, Jerusha Weaver, Rebecca Fleckiger, Scott McPherson and Emily Gower. This research is being done in collaboration between the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and RTI International. This work is being presented at the Medical Images and Deep Learning Conference held in Lubeck. So what is the motivation of this work? Trachoma is the leading infection cause of blindness worldwide. And it is transmitted from person to person through uh, ocular and nasal secretions or eye-seeking flies that carry the infection from one person to another. The repeated infections may cause the eyelids caring, and it causes the eyelid to turn inward and the eyelashes uh, to touch the globe of the eye. And this condition is called trachomatous trachiasis, or, or TT. If this condition is not corrected, uh, the intern eyelashes may abrade the cornea and this will lead to blindness. And the primary way to correct this condition is through surgery. Uh, the majority of individuals that suffer from this condition live in low and middle income countries where the access to health services is limited. And there are many surgical campaigns that are conducted in, this, in rural areas uh, and people from the community are asked to go home to home and try to identify the cases. And the, the community members, they receive a brief, brief training on how to identify the condition. Uh, and they go home to home and they invite the persons to uh, come uh, to the upcoming surgical camp. Uh, and a recent study published by Green uh, shows that 30% of TD positive community members are not identified by the case finders. And there, may, there are many reasons why this could be the case. Um, it may be that they don't have the sufficient knowledge to determine whether the eyelashes are touching the globe or not, or there is no uh, a good under understanding maybe of the problem. So in this paper, what we want to propose is to close the gap between experts and non-experts in assessing the condition. Um, and to the best of our knowledge, we are the first group that is proposing uh, to close the gap uh, via um, uh, commercial, uh, commercial uh, capturing by commercial phones and assessing the, the condition. So uh, in here, in this example, we have two images that ha have moderate uh, TT, which show a few lashes touching the globe, whereas these ones are severe because there are multiple lashes touching the globe. And the approach that we propose here, we're gonna take these images and we're gonna uh, identify our region of interest uh, with a unit segmentation network. And we uh, segment the uh, upper eyelid and the sclera and the cornea. And our region of interest will be the upper eyelid where we're gonna smooth, uh, we're gonna fit the smooth polynomial curve and then extract crops around this line. And we are gonna generate this image uh, sequence that then we are gonna analyze via our uh, gated recurrent unit uh, module. We have a step uh, as a feature, feature extraction and we use free chain networks, for example, VG19, ResNet50, or MobileNet. So every frame is processed by our feature extraction and then analyzed by uh, the recurrent neural network. Finally, we use attention modules that will assign a specific weight to each of the frames and give more importance to a certain frame than another one. Um, finally, this is uh, fed to a fully connected layer and we have our predictions for uh, uh, TT. So the data in this study was collected uh, as part of the maximizing trachea surgery success trial in Ethiopia. And the images are captured by commercial phones. And we have an expert grader that has manually uh, labeled uh, our regions. Uh, for the segmentation, we train using 805 images. And for the classification, we use 1,398 uh, uh, images. And we have a holdout test set that is not seen by any uh, of the two networks uh, of 308 images. So that's the number of images that we will use uh, to test uh, both of, of our approaches. Uh, and here, although the, as we can see here, the, the die score for the upper eyelid is low, it is enough to produce better classification results than uh, other approaches uh, that we tested. Here is an example of how the image sequences uh, look like uh, that are analyzed by our um, gated recurrent unit and neural network. So the first three rows here are simply uh, using uh, 
known architectures but using resample images to 512 and the last three rows are uh, the, uh, the approach that we're proposing here but using different networks for uh, feature extraction this image that we see here is the uh, top frames uh, selected by our um, attention modules and as we can see it selected frames that have uh, trachomatous trachiasis. So in conclusion, we have an approach that analyzes uh, the high resolution images captured by commercial phones. We have tested different architectures. Uh, first, you know, we tested re by just simply resampling the images, uh, but then we decided to focus only on the upper eyelid region using the full resolution images, the, uh, uh, the full resolution as possible, and we have uh, much better results uh, using this approach. Uh, initial uh, test uh, showed that uh, the using ResNet 50 um, it, it's about 15 seconds running in the phone so we will have a near real-time uh, application uh, for uh, detection. Um, thank you very much and I'm open for questions.